Yo, what's up guys, it's Seeks here, and today I just want to show you a really easy way to export from Cinema 4D into After Effects and keep the camera so you can edit it separately inside of a composition you make in After Effects. So before we start this, you do need to, I might need to close this actually, you need to go to where you've got Cinema 4D saved or extracted. Mine is just in documents, and you should be able to find where to get this. It might be in program files. I don't know where it will be for you, but for me, it's just in my documents. And you need to go into the Exchange plugins. So here you have loads of plugins that you can use to export, import, and all that shit for other programs. And we're going to use After Effects, so we'll go in there and we need the importer because we're importing like data from Cinema 4D into After Effects and I'm using Windows so I'm going to choose Windows and just choose the closest to your After Effects mine in this case I'm using 2015 so that's CS5 is closer than CS3 and 4 and you'll find this plugin file here and this is nothing difficult you just copy it and just so you know how to get there you go to your drive, your program files, Adobe, version of After Effects that you're using, support files, and plugins, and you just paste in here none of the folders that you may be there. Just paste it in and continue. And it's just pasted the plugin there. So now you can just close them because you won't need them anymore. Open After Effects in the background and so if you're in After Effects, no, not After Effects, if you're in Cinema 4D and you've already animated your character and you have got camera movement, you should be pretty set for now, but if you don't know how to, it's not difficult, it's just hitting that button there that's greyed out to make something stay at a certain point, a bit like keyframes in After Effects. So here we have just a simple model moving his head up and down. I've already rendered something out for just a preview so we're not using this one just for the sake of time but as you can see it's just got an animated head that would work no cameras but you can have cameras exported and you can have lights you can have anything exported but that's not really the difficult part making it right for exporting is what you need to do most otherwise it just won't work flat out so first you just want to change the width and height to whatever you're working in in After Effects, so I'm just going to do a 1280 by 720 make sure you're using the frame rate that you want, I'm just going to have 60 because I can have anything, make sure you've got all the frames that you want so that'll be just from 0 to 90 because that's what's been selected or you, if it's lower you could just do current to, so from frame 0 to 66 like it would be down there so that's just your output settings you can have something like ambient occlusion on, that doesn't take too long to render, but it makes it look a lot better. You could have ambient occlusion if you have a really good PC, but it's not necessary to be honest. So once you've just sorted that out, this is the more challenging part, which really isn't that difficult. So you just choose where you want to save your file for a start. So yeah, you can choose wherever you want it. I'm not going to save this, so I don't need to. And then for your format, that's what you really need to change. Because if you change changes anything like a video file, like a QuickTime or an AVI, it's just going to be a solid video with a black background or whatever the background color that you've got. So you want to change it to PNG because that allows you to have transparent images. And it's, yeah, that's why you want to use it. And you just want to check Alpha Channel to make sure that it does get rid of the background and only renders your model. <clears throat> and that should, that's fine for the regular image and that'll be a sequence depending on how many frames you've changed and then for your compositing project file this is what you would probably never touch in After Effects before if you're not familiar with it and once you're here you literally want to tick it make sure you've got After Effects selected unless you are exporting to Shay, I don't know what they are but make sure you're using After Effects and then you've got these three options here you want to check the bottom two not that relative doesn't matter you just save these bottom two and then render so you then click that button there and you would render out your scene and you have a nice sequence of images and I don't know what that is 
But okay, that's open. I don't think that should have happened, but let's just hope it works. So now we would import our sequence. This is one I had from my room RC. Go have a look at that if you haven't. It was it was good. But from here you just want to import the AEC file, click import, and it will load it up in a folder and you'll have a composition here and you will also have a separate image sequence and you want to open the well I named it normal man because it's just not moving at all and you just want to take that composition not the image sequence the composition and drag it you could just drag it down there but yeah I might as well just drag it down here but if you've got one that you want it in just drag it onto the new composition button or whatever so if I've just dragged down here you can see I've got my character animation and you can see it has no background if I were to add a solid behind it. So that's all good, that means we've exported it properly. But to make sure you can change the 3D data, camera and everything else you've exported you want to go inside the composition that you just dragged down there. And here you'll see you have a camera and your just the normal image sequence. And this means that the camera, if we just hit U on it, you'll see it has a load of keyframes showing that it's moved and you can see all the numbers changing. And that is the exact camera that you would have had in Cinema 4D. So that means if I wanted to add some text, let's say seeks, make sure I spell it right, I, that's not going to move right now, but if I click this cube option, it's now 3D. I do not currently know where this is. So let's just scale it up to like that. Okay, there you go. So you can look, we're beginning to see it now, <laughs> only slightly. Just make that a reasonable size of like 250. And then we can just change the position a bit of it, raise it upwards, change, move it a bit to the right. And you can see it moves with the camera that was in. But if it was just an image sequence and you hadn't checked all of this stuff down here, if you hadn't checked all of that, it would have just been plain image sequence, almost like a video. But if you have the camera that you've exported with it, it will move as if it was in the 3D scene. And this works with Element or anything you'd have in a normal motion track that you would have done before. And it's a really good thing to know because I've never, I never tried this before until recently, and it, it is really cool. And it's not as difficult as you think, especially if you think it's going to take like hours to render, and you're never going to be able to do anything else at the same time. It it doesn't. It's really good. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this, and I hope you learnt something new, and you can now do like 3D characters that people say are really difficult to do. But the only difficult part about it is finding a 3D model to use. So I hope you enjoyed, guys. It's been Seeks. Peace out.